last time on Lawful Stupid. So now we've got this big, monstrous alpha type deal next to you, Gustum, on a lower deck. So you, you Gustum power your way into this thing's monster mouth. You get into his stomach and you sh- wild shape out. Uh, a giant panda bear is now standing here, and the gargoyle is not. This provides opportunity for the, the remaining crew above to finish off the remaining gargoyles, thereby ending our uh, our fight. So as you're, you're celebrating and, and talking, there is a large explosion as these engines finally explode. You watch as a handful of the crew just die. You hear the this voice. Work's not over, boys. We've got a fire to put out. Quick, below deck, grab what you can, and put out that fire. We have too many supplies here to let them fail here. She turns to you guys and says, uh, My name is Captain Svon. It's a good thing you got here when you did. Thank you. Uh, to bring you back into the story, everybody, um, we have just, the, our adventurers have just fended off these uh, gargoyle-esque monsters. Um, excuse me. And uh, Gus, describe to me again what you're doing with that new druid spell. Yeah, so basically what I'm doing is I'm... I'm casting plant growth uh as an eight hour ritual um i'm uh i'm gathering up all the different flora and fauna from the area that's been uh devastated in this airship for lack of a better word crash um as well as uh some of the the meat from the uh the beasts that we're referring to as winged pterosaurs terzard is that right terzards winged terzards uh and <laughs> this is the first time I said it out loud. I've read it a hundred times. It does times, sound like a hip hop but... way to say turd, doesn't it? <laughs> uh Tizar. Uh Flying Turzards. Uh they I got this with some of their their meat as well to kind of make this this elaborate uh a dish, and that's that's kind of what I'm doing uh as part of a a, a way to to cast this ritual and, and uh to honor this this area and help it return to a, a healthy state. That's some inspiration right there. Right? I'm just, I'm vouching for that. Or is that just a shtick? I guess he gets that. Uh, yeah, and so Paul <laughs> Barrow, you're mourning your friend? Yes, this is true. Bomberry. Yeah. Rest yeah, do you in remember, peace. Do you remember who died? Bomberry. Bomberry, good. Excellent. I thought you said Paul Barrow, then now I realize... Paul Barrow dies with his friends <laughs> I little die today. by little. Piece of Paul Barrow, go with him. <laughs> but no, I, I still very much alive. Yeah, so uh, the winged Terzards were defeated, and then we have uh, um, Darlene had just learned the name of Captain Spawn. Um, and I believe Darlin was going to then go get the rest of the caravan. Yes. Uh, Perfect. cause they're kind of on their own. We're on their own. Best to just smush us all together. Yeah. And so I, I, I think you go do that. You go get the other caravan. Um, and they eventually come up or they, you know, come towards the wreckage. Um, and and we canonically, just as a reminder, uh, May helped put out the fire with a soup cannon. If you remember, correct. Um, mm-hmm. Just so everybody's on the same page, because there's like soup. She's everywhere. very helpful and good. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's French so, onions. 
<clears throat> you, oh, that's so good. Oh god, the <laughs> smell. The <laughs> smell. Uh, oh wow. Um so yeah. As the night goes on, Gus finishes uh his ritual. Um, but I think the uh fool's lullaby. Yeah, the mm-hmm. fool's lullaby. I think they, they set up camp like they did um every night before making a lot of food especially with all the extra mouths to feed mm. um and the peep the people from the airship for lack of a better word uh they are still trying to salvage equipment and resources off of the airship is there anything you guys want to do uh before we roll into the next day and send you back to printf just to be clear, as part of this ritual, I'm making this large, elaborate feast from the land. Um, as I complete it, I'm going to take this large, bounteous platter of food and just dump it directly into the bonfire. As I return it to the earth. Uh, and then I'm going to turn around and start handing out good berries to the hungry people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks really good. That's some good looking... <laughs> Fried veg. Oh, you're throwing it. No, good berry. That's. I like to imagine that as the flames consume the meal and the the energy of the spell and nature return, uh, maybe some some the the the, the flame becomes uh, a, a vibrant and verdant green, and this energy radiates from it, and we can see some of the the plant life, uh, like little sprouts, begin to emerge from underneath the the charred bits, as we can we can see the the effect it has begun to have on the land. I I but also like good your berries. your idea, but I I one up if you will. I think the you know how. Um, fires have like the little sparks that go up i think those same sparks go up but then when they land you see when they land little plants start to Mm. bud from all those like sparks yeah i'm horny for that (laughs) uh making this area probably uh long term going to be more thicker and healthier after uh the, the the healing is complete um, <clears throat> all right. Is there anything else you guys want to do before we nah. establish camp and head on back to Prenna? Could could just tuck away some of that extra winged Terzard meat. Just put that in the old extra dimensional pantry. Yeah, I think we covered that last time that you scooped up some of that and we talked about how much you got. We talked about no, we didn't give me a number or anything like that because because all, all I talked oh, about no, was, that was gathering it. No, for the yeah, ritual. because that was the one where you you jumped in his mouth and then exploded. Like you untransformed. That was the big one. Yeah. Yeah. So I killed it. What am I thinking of? All right. You're thinking of of the dragon goo that I scooped up. I am thinking of the dragon goo. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I'd let's like to get some meat from some of the smaller winged turtles. I would not necessarily want <laughs> all my dishes to be goo. Uh. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> based on how many is, is how many were left and easily reachable, you can get ten meals out of it. Because you get two for each medium, and so that's that's after the ritual too. What is I'll, I'll pour half out for my homies. Okay, I'm spell. saying you collect ten, ten meals of that Terzard meat. So if you want to use it in the ritual too and expend it, absolutely. Yeah, that's 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 part of the healing process for me is is to take the creatures that cause the destruction and like return them and as well in their energy so yeah i'll go I, I'll, I'll narratively sacrifice some meat for that perfect um otherwise i've got i'd like to draw like the map of the areas we have been visiting on my fan since it's been a while since i've done that oh nice okay. got about map fan mm-hmm. just fill in the blanks yeah perfect and you do you you continue to sketch the the map on is it sketching or are you painting or we didn't really establish how you're inking your fan I um, as an artist she suddenly has as to an think, artist oh, I have to think about it um I like the idea of more of embroidery kind of vibes onto it mm. rather than like 
like pen and paper. <laughs> More of thread. Dwayne also hates pen and paper, so <laughs> yeah, no. Mm. Uh, put it more to my advantage. <laughs> Good call. Good call. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think that's an inspiration for you can have seven inspiration inspirations. So you know. Oh shit! I'll write them all down. Yeah, yeah they don't stack, unfortunately. And, and now that you brought it up, they all just cancel each other out. But um, oh, seven, you, so I get one. I, no, <laughs> that's not how that works. Um, <laughs> you got to round down. It's weird. Uh, yeah, so you God you do you work that fan? You work the map into the fan, just so you guys have a better picture of how things occur. What else? Hell yeah. Nothing for me. Perfect. I, ki- um, I kissed my wife. <coughs> <laughs> this is a PG podcast. And we're in a podcast. Like, what are, what That's are you why doing we're in only podcast? kissing. Oh, he did. Lots of that. Um, so yeah, you, you guys go to sleep. The night settles on you. And um, imagine, if you will, this this caravan of wagons semicircled up against the wreckage of a yacht-sized airship. It what a juxtaposition as you guys uh, tuck in for the night. Um, and as you guys uh, begin waking up, um, people are kind of cleaning up camp, getting ready to head on to Preneth because the full soul by still has a schedule to keep. Uh, and if you guys plan on traveling with them, you will um, need to leave with them, right? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, if there's nothing else you want to do, you guys depart and you guys head for Prenna. So you guys head to... Big yeah, you, city. Feeling you guys good. Head to Prenna and, and you have to head south to do that. And it's a, it's still a bit of a drive, uh, or a bit of a ride, journey, as you will. Um, but as you approach it, you know the afternoon is setting in, and you can see this giant three-tiered city, right? Um, the last, the or the main foothold of civilization, the Vegas, as you approach, and um, the caravan goes. The caravan, uh, the Fool's Lullaby, stops on the edge of Prenneth, still within the perimeter, but doesn't quite travel in. Uh, and Paul Barrow, you would know without even having to communicate that, like, it doesn't make sense for your crew to just go into Prenneth full mm-hmm. staff. Mm-hmm. Like, they would need to arrange where they're going to perform and stuff like that before they have all the wagons go in. Um. <clears throat> So you, I assume you say your goodbyes, or what are you going to tell the fool's lullaby? Uh, shoot, I forgot what we called the the head guy. I made up that name, but I can't remember his name. Uh, but anyways, I, I'm going to explain to him that my father is in trouble, as I've been told, and that it was it's been it's been a pleasure to be with the fool's lullaby, but it seems like my my path is taking me somewhere else, and. I'll return as soon as possible. Yeah, and you too. You guys have a good, quick conversation. And then I believe the Panda Express uh, heads into Yuri. Not Yuri. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we did it. Dude, We're dimension back. door. <clears throat> um, you guys head into Prenna. You're able to go through the main gates, Pretty. no problem. Um, and it's so we're, you guys head back to the... Derringer Field Estate before you do yeah. anything else? <laughs> For sure. Okay. Yeah, what happened to the crew and all of them? We just drop them off? Are they kind of with the fool's lullaby? What's up? Curious. What was the question? What happened to the crew and all of them? Like Captain Svon? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they stayed with the airship. Okay. They're oh. doing recovery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're doing recovery and they'll eventually do what they need to do next. Um, so yeah, you guys go to the field, the Derringer Field Estate. Just to, to recap for me real quick, can you remind me uh, what Captain Spawn was a captain of? It was a, a Yuri Expeditionary Force. Is that what it was? Uh, it wasn't mentioned. I think it, you mentioned that they like like the guilds had gathered. No, no, no. She was a part of the Yuri's shields. 
your shield. Which you knew to be an elite force. That's what it was. Of your shields, but you don't know. From Yuri. So you would know that she's I don't she's know what her business captain, here was. But you don't know. I mean, you could assume she's the captain of the Yuri Shields. It would be weird if she was a captain uh, wearing a Yuri Shield uniform and wasn't a captain of the Yuri Shields. Agreed. Hmm. Indeed. <laughs> mm-hmm. But not impossible. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Thoughts are slim, but never zero. That's true. What if she was impersonating a Yuri Shield? <laughs> Anyways. No. And Captain Tyndall comes out of the... No. <laughs> no! Again, no. Ridwick, you bastard! I needed a... I needed a boat. <laughs> um, so yeah, you guys go to the field estate, and you pu- you kind of park behind. If you remember, you pull in behind where there's a small little greenery, um, and you guys head in. Yeah, yeah, mate, these digs are pretty sweet. We're set up in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, this is where we sleep. Uh, yeah, I got a hammock, uh, everything that I need. <laughs> okay, but if I'm staying here. Where am I sleeping? I mean, I guess there's like too? a bunch of rooms with like beds and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they're over yeah. this way. Thank you. But but this is where all the pot, pots and pans. Okay. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. And uh, does anybody tell Paul Barrow about getting a room or anything like that? Alright, so here's the best room in the house, Paul. It's the kitchen. <laughs> now, the, the, the reaction from May tells me that this is not the intent for me. Uh, well, the thing is, I got two hammocks, and May's not down. <laughs> Can I move hammock to other room? Yeah. Why it's you say like this? Pans are. It's where all the pots and pans are, man. I don't, I don't know, know what this talking. means. This is... This. Innuendo for you. I don't understand pots and pans reference. It's just literally pots and pans, bro. It's just I, I cook in them. Look at me. Look like, at me. I get I get pots and pans. I get hungry when I sleep. I get so hungry, I wake up and my tummy's like, "You gotta have snacks right now." And I'm like, "Oh, gumbo." But if there's no pots and pans, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I wait till morning and stomach remind me that I'm alive. Rumbling mean you alive. That's why you're so skinny. He stomps out. I'm not skinny. <laughs> you're a beanpole. Um, Pabaro is going to, as he walks around the house, he is kind of running his finger over surfaces to determine like how, how dusty it is. Yeah, it's pretty dusty. But before you jump into your thing, um, you, Paul Barrow, as you walk into like uh, the main living area, Mm-hmm. You see, uh, there's like um, a little parcel that's like wrapped in the sense of some string, and it's got a note from Tuck Tuck. Oh, what? A note from Tuck oh. Tuck, yeah. Um, take, take. Okay, I will take this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can open it and read the note. I will. Uh, and essentially, and, and Devin, you can uh, recreate this in Tuck Tuck's voice and vernacular if you want. The note basically says, uh, thank you for everything. And um, it's a, Tuck Tuck is essentially giving the cloak to the Dare Rangers, that resistance cloak mm. that Tuck mm. Tuck got that one of our um, patrons Imaginer. put in place. Yeah. I'm. <laughs> okay. He's gonna take this, throw the letter behind him, and start Probably wiping that. down the surfaces with this cloak. <laughs> no. What a butt! <laughs> what a butt! It will come up eventually. Like I'll, uh, it, it'll bring. I will not gonna let this moment pass, uh, listeners, dear listeners. It will come up. It was just gonna be. I'm cleaning now. Spring clean. Spring clean. Paul Bear walks in the kitchen. Hey, look, I found rag for dusting. And uh, Gus. That's not a rag. <laughs> I could use this to clean up uh, maybe spilled soup. <clears throat> uh, anyways. All the magic items have to go in soup. It's my new campaign goal. Paul Barrow, you were uh, wiping dust off stuff before I interrupted you. 
No, yeah, I think all that flows pretty well. Like he, he, he's he's walking along, finding it, and like just grossed out by it. Finds this letter or this package inside the parcel is is the cloth. He won't throw the letter. He'll set the little letter down and then just and just be steadily all around this room. Is just now cleaning things, and I think he's also um, like checking out edges, like how pointy they are. As, as he goes along. What a complex character. That I'm really, guys, you're, <laughs> you're He was like, now. characters only 2D. No, no, no. Clean freak. I'm very spooked about his own blood. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> worried about sharp edges. I like, like, what baby, baby is coming into the picture? <laughs> ba- and in fact, Paul Barrow is just a giant baby. <laughs> you gotta put locks on the toilet seats and the doors. Child locks. <laughs> I, I can't get them. My big bare hands. It's too me hungry. So I know I'm alive. Feed <laughs> De- me. He's like scratching, like try pulling at the cabinets. <laughs> These darn locks. <laughs> he it says he just chocolate. goes to sleep when he's hungry and wakes up to know he's alive. But he doesn't mention that it's every two hours. <laughs> he just <laughs> cries until somebody brings him milk. <laughs> no. Flash forward to this night scene where you are sleeping in the kitchen and you hear ting 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 and you know what it is it's me like holding that that blanket that that cloak that I had and I bumped my oh, head oh, into it like I'm hungry are you hungry yeah man feed me. gumbo <laughs> please feed me I brought my blanket let, Gus rolls over and pulls up a pot of gumbo like of course skeleton build man all right so I'm cleaning and checking edges uh, downstairs okay. in the main room. Uh, I think May picks out a, a room on the second floor. I don't remember what room Kato's was in. The ba- it was it was like the basement next to the fireplace. He, <laughs> no, he had a room <laughs> that he like took the bed out of and put in the basement or some shit. Right, because he thought because he saw Gus sleeping in the kitchen, he thought everybody slept in the cellar. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> he's a robot. Ah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, once uh, May gets settled, I'm going to uh, take her and introduce her over to my guildy, my good guild friend, over at the spoopy doop. Yeah. The where? The, you know, the, the place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The place yeah. that we visited the, and talked to the, the people. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you're going to take uh, May to Assault and Battery. Oh, yeah, which is the cooking is. Store to talk to talk visited? to the tree lady. Who yeah, works the tr- the treekin. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you guys go to um assault and battery, which is perched on the top tier of the city, is is a vibrant cooking store run by the renowned chef Bluebon, and it's a top tier, high quality cooking store, uh, known. With ingredients, known for its ingredients, an expert culinary advice. Um, in your meetings, you know that Chef, or your meeting, that Chef Bluebon is a talented chef, and she's equally engaged in her love of gossip. Mm. Um, the storefront of Assault and Battery is painted in eye catching shades of red and yellow, and a few tables are situated outside of the store that patrons can use for. Uh, eating like cups of tea or quick bites um, and inside the store is a treasure trove of cooking supplies and ingredients um, from exotic spices to rare herbs rare meats um, and chef Bluebon is always happy to have a conversation so you guys uh, you guys go to the assault and battery and how do you start that Ah, Chef Blue. I got I got my old hat dusted off and put on my chef's the big the full size one, not the mouse one. Not the mouse. <laughs> I was really, I was gonna ask. But... <laughs> ah, not today. Uh, and I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, Chef Blue Boy. I want to meet you. I want you to meet somebody. This is uh, my wife May. May. This is Chef Blue Bun. Oh, it's a pleasure, dear. Uh, I'm sorry. What was your name again? Uh, I'm Gus. Oh, yes. I uh, remember the face, just not the name. I apologize. 
No worries, no worries. Anyway, so start things out before we get into anything crazy. A uh, little dish and dish. So first mm-hmm. off, we we'd mentioned blue eyed Sylvie. I talked about some stew with the with the current. I did make some blue eyed Sylvie stew. I'd like you to try some. Oh yes, please. And while you try that, I'm gonna tell you about this crazy thing that happened on the way here. There's airship, shields from Yuri, you're gonna flip your wig. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I'm she's gonna start trying the the soup, I assume. Yeah, and while she does that, I'm just gonna recount to her basically our, our escapades getting here. because uh, she loves to gossip and this she is She does love to gossip. And uh she she eats some of your meal and she says, um, oh, this is this is pretty good. Um, it it does seem like the the blue eyed silver you got is a little, little gamey maybe. Um, yeah, from the wild for sure. Hmm. It was out. It was out past New Haven Hold where we found it. Oh, so. yeah, no. Well, it's surprisingly fresh to be that far away, but it's pretty good. Yeah, I got my secrets. There's <laughs> like a tingle to it. Yeah, that's. Uh, hmm. That's yeah, cool. I didn't even use flame. I just like I, I I just used a little little magic judge and a little spice to get it to just naturally kind of electrocute itself in oh, a broth. That's wonderful. You you're very talented. And you know, I, I like to take ingredients in like their natural form and and try to get as much of that flavor out like using you know its its own natural processes as I can. That's like my thing. Anyway, so this is <laughs> May. Well, I'm surprised to hear... Oh, th- wonderful. Nice to meet you, May. And you said... Who'd you say May was? She's my wife. She's actually oh. here from the continent. It's like some crazy stuff. There's a portal. Uh, Trifle is there. You know Trifle. I'm uh, familiar, yeah. Yeah. My... So, she is here in, uh, in, in Ego. It's kind of unexpected. And we're looking to get her set up like, you know, she's an industrious chef. You know, she she trained under, you know, the Teresa. So. Oh, excellent. She kind of inherited her legacy. So, she's got, she's got moves. Uh, and I figured you might, if anybody was going to be, you know, in a place that wasn't quite so dangerous and also like a place for talented cooks it would be here you know i i could use a an extra set of pans i've been talking about um doing a little bit more cooking and a little less selling of uh of equipment equipment and and goods so that she could help me uh branch over to that that's uh yeah i'm interested Maybe she can stay with me for a little bit or come back later, whatever, and just we can kind of run through no, the paces. No, I'll, I'll let you gals talk it out. Uh, you guys probably got, like, your own stuff to do. I'm going to go uh, get some nachos. Be anywhere else. Uh, <laughs> I, I did think you... I really appreciate you telling me um, about your adventures. I find it weird that they flew the airship north of Prunith, though. Yeah, I had no idea what they were doing out there. Hmm. No matter. Maybe I'll maybe I'll hear more of it. If you learn more uh-huh. stuff, do come back, dear. No, oh, of course. You know I like to dish and dish. Oh, of <laughs> All right. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all stay frosty. I gotta get out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> okay, and uh, so you go get nachos from somewhere. Every time, every time Gus oh. blows May a kiss, he first seasons his lips. So he, <laughs> nope, that looks like mm. something else. <laughs> That's that get fan art, fan art. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, if I had meant that on purpose, it'd been really funny. But we haven't had fan art in three years, and the first thing back is like Gus was just bright red, just all over his face. Mm. Uh, yeah, so you go, you <laughs> drop May off at the assault and battery. Um, what do you do next? What do you guys do next? Do you have anything else you're looking to do? Uh, Darling's just gonna update our secret stash of information letters in the chimney hearth. Mm-hmm. Uh, just to let the siblings know where the letters have pointed us. And just so... You know, they don't go into the same dangerous things to find the same letters that we just found. Fair as far as we're aware, we're ahead, but we we she's she's gonna 
make it easier for them to not die right off the bat. <laughs> also, Fine. right, Dad is dumb. You know how she how she is. Devin has a line of derringers that he's just been preparing, like outside of a meat grinder. Like, <laughs> next, next, yeah. All right. So, what's next for you guys? Well, family meeting, I think. Yes, Pabarro is very confused about what happens next. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's time for a little family meeting. Okay. And I think you guys uh, gather up in uh, the field estate and sit down to chat. For the sake of brevity, I will serve at this meeting uh, winged Terzard Tartar. Nice. Very nice. What did you say it was? Winged Terzard what? Tartar. That's what I thought you said, but I just wanted to make sure I put it down correctly. Uh, which, if anybody doesn't know, tartar is, uh, I would never eat it. It's just, uh, it's like raw meat. It's like ground up. It's like, it's like, uh, it's like nachos, but sad. It's supposed to be a delicacy, <laughs> but. Nachos, but sad. It doesn't sound good. Not for me, but, but Gus makes it really tasty. I'm sure. <clears throat> Are we sure we can eat this raw? And, you know and how just you're not covered. He's like, like it is so good this way. Of course you can eat it like this. No. What? <laughs> I'm not certain. <laughs> Paul Barrow's like, I know you told me now. that ten, ten scoops ago. <laughs> my, oh, just for reference, my mouth and stomach have been like trained through a long alchemical process with the uh, twice baked circle and like that. Uh, I, I, I can eat stuff that people can't. Well, if I get cart sick, I'm going to throw up directly on you, just so you know. And then clean Fair. you with press hesitation. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I believe Darling already throws up sparkles, and you can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> she throws up rainbows. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, so family meeting time. Uh, so... Uh, darling, if you want to start us out with like Dad Watch 20. It, it, what well, year is it? <laughs> uh, some year. I don't keep track. Only Dwayne knows. <laughs> Only Dwayne knows. You guys look at your notes. Zoom yeah, notes. today is today and the date is this, the date. This, it's this fine. This is, this is post arcane war, Paw. 564? Uh, it's four... I'd have to give the exact number, but it's like 465 or something like that. It's uh, I, I was close enough. Yeah, I think it's uh, 467. Six, total, but I'll have to check. Dad watched 467. Yeah, 467. I looked it up. 467 Pat. Yes, post-Arcane Torrent. Discover. <sighs> I was close. Mm. You were close. I was. I was impressed. Um, well, uh, the closest we've gotten is that mine where we found Cassiel, and no. then we have to go, I think, past the friends we've made. I forgot about Bird Bro. <laughs> Toa? He Toa? should be here. Toa? Oh yeah, he's outside. Toa's part of the family. Come on in, Toa. All right, Toa comes in. Hey, nerds! You saw Dad last. Sure did. So you should be here for this part. Okay. Where was where it? Where is he? <laughs> yes, where was it? All right. To the north. Pretty sure you have like a map, right? Mm-hmm. Darling, we'll get the fan map fold, out. Fold, well, <laughs> move, move the tartar, and then we'll fold the map out on the table. That's pretty good. Not bad. Are you an artist? Yeah. Dad, cool. Help me learn how to do this. 
Dad, I'm a chef, and he's a wrestler. We're your siblings. You should know these things. Yeah, I should. <laughs> I love you, Toa. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I forget so, he's a bird sometimes. Yeah. What? What'd you call me? A uh, bird? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like to be called? <laughs> Toa. What do you like to be called? Anything you want, Tell as what? long as you call me for dinner. It's dinner that was time. Papa's bitch. favorite. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> I know anything. anything. He kills uh, you. <laughs> he like puts his uh, one of his like uh, talons uh, on a part of the map that you don't have drawn, but it's like you can tell he's trying to like show you roughly where uh, Daddy Derringer was last that he saw him. Sick. Here, here, nerds. Appreciate you, Toa. <laughs> Thanks, Toa. Okay. Yeah. It's not How long bad. ago? Uh, when's the last time I saw him? Let's see. Uh, as the Toa flies, it took me uh like two and a half days to get to you guys. We we're in the mine, so it's pretty pretty good distance. Cause um, you guys don't travel as fast as I do, so. Yeah, I know everything about birds, and I can calculate from his wingspan exactly the distance that would have taken. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck! So, that's easy. That's that's just that's just a little... Uh, that's a nature check, right? To know everything about birds? Yeah, of course! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Toa's taking over his DM! <laughs> uh, I rolled a four. <laughs> yeah! You believe me! They're delicious. That's what I know about birds. Very tasty. Toa. I like the way you're looking at me, man. Don't worry. I've never eaten a family member or anything that could talk. But a language I understood. Um. What about when you speak with animals? Darling, come get your boy. He's being weird. Feed him or something. I n- and I've never eaten one while I was casting that spell. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm not in charge of feeding Gus. If I cook something, it's not going to be great. And mm-hmm. <laughs> Sprout burns cereal. Sure what? not. Mm-hmm. I- what cereal? It's like grains. Huh. Cook the grain a little too long. Every time. So like, what vegetarian <laughs> zombies are looking for? Yeah. No. Yeah. All right. Cool. 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 Uh, yeah. So that's where that's where Papa is. He's he was with the gear swarm last time I saw him. <laughs> oh, such a good joke. I'm sorry. The slow burn for eight. I just like <laughs> <laughs> old <Yeah>. slow burn. <laughs> this is nickname in high school. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> So we make a beeline for Papa. All this talking, it seems like he could be dying and we're waiting. Ah, uh, he's not dying. You, you said you see him long time ago. He's kicking it with the, he's kicking it with the bat folk. Ah, uh, the gear spawn. They don't like it when you call it bat folk. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> My boss. Don't do that. They get real bad. Cool. Good, Good thing enough. we never said that in front of Tuck Tuck. <gasps> This thing. <laughs> oh, it's what? one minute. <laughs> dum, 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 runs away. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. That's weird. This package came in, and so he pulls like from behind him, like this, like dirty uh, cape with this letter. I thought it said "take take," so I did. Oh, it's Tuck Tuck's magic cloak. You can wear that if you want to. Perhaps. And I'll hand the letter Sprout, over to Sprout uh, can Darlene. Clean it. <laughs> Tiny Dancer, read this. <laughs> She'll read it. <laughs> yeah, he's just basically saying thanks. Duck Duck's cool, man. I miss Duck Duck. <laughs> yeah. You know he's a fucking kid. What? Yeah, he's a child. He's 12 wow. years old. Never met him. I thought... 
He's, He's a little bit older. I assume. Splitting hairs. <laughs> probably totally not. Probably, about- probably not even have a hair involved, right? Just so young. No facial hair. Yeah. Birds. I don't know how gas bomb work. Okay, so we go north past the map mm-hmm. to where the Gia Squam live and they're our best friends. So uh, we'll maybe? kick it with them for a while. Sure. We'll reunite with dad. And then yeah. uh, we're good. Yeah, adventure over. Yeah. This is a good plan. Yeah. I mean, I don't see anything, how anything can go wrong. Yeah. No, no, I agree. Okay. All right. We'll what leave do you want tomorrow. Me to tell dad. Wait, do you go to see him now? Yeah. Do you think I'm walking or riding with you guys? No, I'm going back. I think we agree that you tell him, wait, stop. No, no go no more. I think we can all agree that (laughs) that is the move. Just not move until we talk to him. Do not move until the kids get here. No matter what. I don't care if there's a dragon five feet away. Or fire. And he's in it. He waits. You wait. You're tired. Chasing you. Okay, I let him know. And that. tell him I'm mad at him. <laughs> and Sprout is pissed. Um, hey Sprout, those are your daddy issues. I'm not. I'm not doing that. Yeah, all you have to do is relay it. He just needs to know. He'll. He knows. I think he'll know. Come on, Sprout. Reiterate yeah. it, please. I'll just. I'll just <laughs> say I saw Sprout, and I'll. I'll give him the look. Hey, no. Perfect. That look he'll is know. perfect. Thank you. Great. And it's the kind of look because he's a bird. He just looks one one eye at you. <laughs> it's my brother. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Nope. <clears throat> hey guys, just Perfect remember plan. you're going into Kiosbomb territory to to get to They're our best friends. Oh uh, well, I just saying like, you know, don't be dicks. We can bring some. We've done great so far, so I think we got this. Great. I don't know that. I just know that sometimes uh, daring your children as a whole can kind of be dickish. He's not wrong. You are one. Mm. Yeah. And the living example of that fact. Yeah, Mm. nerd. That's why do you think I'm telling you? Mm. Okay. We'll see yeah. you in a, we'll, we'll catch up to you in a few days. Yeah, you were the scariest looking bear until I saw Paul Bearer. Yeah, this you were great like, oh, compliment. Man, I'm so scared for him because he's so skinny. He needs to eat a sandwich. This That's not true. great compliment. You basically look the same. They're uh, twins. Like if, if, yeah, yeah, if I was like dangerously thin, I would look exactly like Paul <laughs> This sarcasm. You're playing joke now. N- no. I do not like this game you play between each other. <laughs> well, you know, they see the two Bear Brothers and go, oh, there's the big strong one, and there's Paul Barrow. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's very funny. I see. This is good joke. It is very funny. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's good to make fun of the sickly. Who said that? Show me them. I want to know who said this. No, oh, uh, everyone. See you later, Nets. Bye. Awesome. Of blood right there on your lip, Paul Barrow. Awesome. I love you guys. Bye-bye. I don't bye. Know. Love you. Bye. Travel safe. He like, <laughs> Gus. You do notice that he like grabs a bag of fucking seeds on the way out that you had left on the counter. Mine. He earned him. And off uh goes Toa to uh, reunite with Papa Deringer. I never met this Toa. He one of us. Uh, technically yes. <clears throat> he might be Dad's pet. <laughs> I've decided Weird. he's part of the family. Well, it might be a new sibling. I don't know. Dogs are family. I agree, but not every family feels that way, Dwayne. And they're fucking wrong. <laughs> if you don't think your animals are part of the family, give your animals to somebody who cares. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And don't cut their balls off. <laughs> Of course I still have my balls. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> cool. So, yeah, we get some sleep. Uh, I'll, I'll relay to May what's going on, what our plan is, see what see how things went at the... We had her first day of chef school. 
first day of chef school. How was chef school, honey? <laughs> her uh, her a meeting with Chef uh, Blue Bond. Boy R D. What I said. At assault and battery. <laughs> We're saying the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, hate I hate everything. Um, <laughs> is there an egg? Is there an echo in here? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you might want to shake your mic. I think you're echoing, bro. <laughs> yeah, I can hear myself I coming out of your mic. I see that. Uh, yeah, so you guys are about to embark on another journey. Is there anything else you want to do or stock up on or anything like that before you leave? So, so uh, uh, to break the, the beautiful spell of immersion for a moment, Abon and I had discussed out of character that uh, we do need money. That we uh, need we need to have money in the world, and we should be rich and powerful. Yeah. Um, if we we, we have wanna, some businesses <laughs> to start something. up, so. <laughs> uh, so, but I honestly think that the quickest path to wealth for us is probably just to go into the wilds, right? Like that's we find dad, and also probably there'll be some monsters. Probably there'll be some stuff to loot. Probably we'll run into people that will be hungry and will want to buy paninis from me, a panda. Paninis from uh, the pan. Panda <clears throat> panda panda paninis. paninis, yep. It's the Panini Express, yes. Uh, and, <laughs> uh, I'm a panda ninny. I make paninis. Uh, and we'll just make money that way while while we're also saving our father. I think that's the move. Cause we cause we don't have we're dirt, dirt poor children right now. We cannot we, we cannot go yeah. on a shopping episode and buy fun things. Before we leave well, the town, I've got 160 gold. That was basically because I didn't take any of the equipment. Yeah, no, you're take broke. That back. You're broke. You have nothing. We we don't I have enough funds emotions. to buy buy a place and set up shop in New Haven Hole. So you have to spend money to make money. <laughs> so, so you spent all your money. We still have nothing so many to show. Presses. You do have options. <laughs> you, of course, there are places where you can get quests or like bounties. Right, um, but that would involve you accomplishing those bounties and collecting mm -hmm. the reward. Um, there are also banks, and there are also to rob, <laughs> to rob, yes, <laughs> <laughs> to get a loan. Wait, you can get loans, bro. We can get loans in this fantasy loans. Yes, fantasy oh, interest rates will kill you, though. My credit score is fantasy. <laughs> oh, there are fantasy credits. <laughs> That I, I, that's in every character sheet that I ever do on pen and paper. I'm writing in a credit score book. <laughs> <laughs> Take me to this bank. Where is God? I will beat this score. <laughs> I don't know what this score is, but I will beat it. <laughs> Everything I uh, see, I will. So I think accomplish. getting a predatory loan is not a good move for us. Um, I think we just we we find we we go to find dad. We're going to find dad. Like that's what I'm here for. Palbero's not looking to hang out to like do side quests. He is concerned about dad, and that's why he's here. So okay, he's gonna he would urge you guys to let's let's go find dad. He's wait. We know where he's at. Toa said he's there. Why wait? I, like I respect that. To pick up a handful of missions that look like they're on a northern. They're on pass. the way. Yeah. Because if brother wants to go north directly for dad, I'm going to find something that's conveniently, hopefully, in our way. You would have to go, you would have to swing by New Haven Hold to get missions that far north. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. True. Nobody in Prentice would be posting jobs that far north. Right. Um, Is there anything we can do from Prentice to New Haven Hold? I.e., another sad uh, another, potion uh, mission. Another, <laughs> another delivery. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I mean, hey, I'm not we, getting we another the convoy. Just, there. Convoys blow up, dude. I'm not getting in one. I'm not ever getting in a convoy again. That shit blows up. <laughs> That's true. The first yeah, no, one no, had no, an explosion we'll in the middle. Whatever the, the package is, explosion adjacent. Come on, too close. Adjacent. Too close. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll get whatever our package is. We don't need nobody else with us. We'll take. From point A to point B. Oh yeah, so it'll be like so so we can face down the fucking explosion level content by ourselves. We'll just make sure that's part of our contract. This won't explode. 
deal. A minute. Now well, that I know we can, we can put in no explosion for Jesus. Explode, mm. sir. You like snickered. No reason. I put offers and work explode. Um. Yeah, Abon, you can go look for like a quest at, at a place called the Haven, which is known for like bounties. Um, you can roll me a percentage die to see if there's something that will fit with your very specific parameters. All right, Tanner. Won't Henry. explode, going to New Haven. Where's the concierge? I, I don't want it to explode. I want to make <laughs> lots of money, and I just want to deliver something to New Haven home. <laughs> where where I'm going already? It wasn't crazy. Uh, should be worth yeah, infinity dollars. Um, How much electrum do you have? <laughs> it's all in electrum. You can add all. No one takes electrum here in the whole continent. <laughs> um, no, I mean there is um, there is a uh, a quest or not a quest, but like a a request, a request, a request. Um, it's a quest that somebody did before and died. <laughs> yeah, it's a request. Yeah, a request. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a job on the board to deliver essentially medicine and first aid equipment but it doesn't pay a ton um it pays like a hundred gold but you only it's a couple boxes of um medical equipment and then you will get paid on delivery i can do that yeah yeah so you pick up that um that flyer you you head over to um it, I don't know that it really matters, but you go and pick up the supplies from essentially the Medica or the, the first aid area. I can go get your name in just a second. Um, so yeah, you pick up those supplies and you pack them into the Panda Express. They do not seem like they'll explode. There's in fact no swishingness. It, it really just seems like gauze and sewing and, and, and stuff like that, right? What do you mean by stuff like that? <laughs> I just want, I want to make sure I'm not a drug mule. I'm a, I got very high no, mule no, no. standards. It's, it's legitimately first aid equipment. I'm not sliding anything by you. It's I don't know enough about first aid. To Seems be, a little too good to be true. To be well, I mean, I want to give you more gold, and if you're actively trying to do that, I'll, I'll help out. Like you're going to need gold to do things. Uh, Thanks, Dad. Yeah, uh, you're, you're welcome. Anytime I can do, any, anytime I can help you, you know. But yeah, so you go to the Haven, you get that mission, and uh, you uh, head out. Or not head out, sorry, you pack up the Panda Express with that uh, equipment. Mm-hmm. What else? That's all I got. I'll update Gus and be like, we can make a hundred. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. No drugs, um, is right? there is there any wrestling events going on in town this week? Like, have, have, has the Fool's Lullaby they set up in town? Uh, no, I mean, you haven't been there long. Okay. Right, like, you've been there less than a day, and they, they, they parked on the outside, so. And you also just told them, I'm leaving you. Oh, but also, can I be in Goodbye an event? forever. But See you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to set up a wrestling match, and everyone will pay me. I you will make do no it money myself. This way. I'm undercutting your business. <laughs> uh, yeah, and so, um, I unless you guys have anything else, I think you're you're ready to depart. I kiss my wife goodbye. Yeah. The darling does too. You heard her. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Little cheek kiss. <laughs> uh, Gus. I have a it, new it, sister. This is fine. sisters. <laughs> it should be noted, Gus, that when you um, come out or, or at some point when you're looking at the Panda Express, you got to spend some time repairing it. Oh, yeah. Got yeah. it. Just a lot of wear and with tear. the old mending. Yep. Nothing you can't handle, but it was a lot of wear and tear. And you, you did your due diligence. As a DM, I will give you that. You did your due diligence and brought it back up to standard. Hell yeah. Okay. Is there anything else before we head out? Not that I can think of. Goal is to get that. I have two jewelry pieces that talk to each other, and I don't need anybody else knowing that. 
<laughs> Good. So the three of you depart, Krenna, and you make the three day long journey to New Haven home, relatively uneventful. The weather was kind of crappy, rained most of the time. Um, you're able to eat and, you know, be merry. Like I said, largely uneventful, not even uh, bothered for the most part. A um, couple small critters kind of get in, try to get into your uh, caravan, but well, not caravan, your, your wagon, but ultimately nothing dangerous. Um, they pay the ultimate price of being consumed by me. <laughs> by Gus. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gus, you can, add, uh, you can add five meals of um, any of the smaller creatures you have. I'll just take rations, bud. Perfect. Um, and you. Uh, you guys arrive in New Haven Hold. And that's where we're going to end this episode. Woo! Chainsaw, chainsaw, chainsaw. I request from you to do the roll for humanity. Yeah, it's a new month, I'm pretty sure. That sounds right. Uh, special deeds for special needs. Woo. Is the charity. They are located in Spokane, Washington. Uh, looks like they're doing kids' bedroom makeovers. Uh, I'm, I'm very much learning about this on the fly. Uh, looks like they got. Oh yeah, they got. They're doing like gamer rooms and stuff for mm. kids with, with with special needs and bringing the joy and comfort to their life. I love this. Making sure they got everything they need for accessibility. Yeah, this is a good one. So special deeds, special needs, uh, worthy of your dollars and mine. We're rolling, and you should too. We are rolling, and we got an 18. Wow. wow. Turning it around. Love that. Strong start. Mm -hmm. Strong start for special deeds, for special needs. We need a stronger start, so we need you to join us. What'd you roll? Tell us. Yeah. Yeah, tweet it, Shane. Yeah, well, I guess lawful, stupid, but Shane's going to read it. He's uh, going to be the one answering. That's true. <laughs> so now we move on to the dad joke portion of the evening, and I will kick it off with... <clears throat> what are... What is... Mm, how do I phrase that grammatically correctly? Um, what is Balloon's favorite style of music? Uplifting beats. Fall room? Air. Pop music. No. Dang it. Right there. It's right there. Yeah, it's right there. Shane, tell me a funny fucking joke. Uh. Okay. Did you know that uh, down at Radio Shack, they're just giving away all their dead batteries? weird they're dead seeds I don't know why why free charge free charge <laughs> that's funny free of charge <laughs> that's funny <clears throat> Devin tell me a funny ass joke wheel 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 if it isn't autocorrect <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good I like that one Avon tell me a funny ass joke uh, why are piggy banks so wise? Because they have lots of two cents. So wise. Both. Oh, thank they... you. I have no idea. They're filled with mm. common sense. Ah. <sighs> yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. As we Dang exit, it. Devin, as we <laughs> always say, is that an Indian or an about outie? butts. No! <laughs> <laughs> we love you. No. We love you. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye forever. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>